These plants contain hidden secrets about wheat. Grown in controlled conditions here at the John Innes Research Centre, Wild Grass is helping an international group of scientists develop a different type of wheat. So here we've got lots of different varieties of this wild grass species. I'm really interested in the starch in these grains, trying to find novel diversity in this wild grass, which we don't see in modern wheat. We're interested in trying to transfer this into modern wheat to create starch which is more nutritious or useful for different industries such as bread making. Scientists extracted DNA from these leaves and were excited to discover their potential. So it might seem very different to wheat but it's actually almost like a grandparent of wheat so it was really important in that evolution of modern wheat which we're growing and eating in our daily lives. The grasses contain a larger type of starch which could have health benefits. And this could potentially be really helpful nutritionally for our gut because it might digest slightly slower and release less glucose into the bloodstream. So it could be really good for diseases such as diabetes. Extensive studies by the group revealed today's wheat is essentially a hybrid of three types of wild grasses. Originating in the Middle East, it's only existed for around 8,000 years. But in that time, it's become a huge part of our diets. It's thought around a fifth of the calories we consume globally come from wheat. But that modern crop has lost much of its diversity over the generations, which is why researchers here want to put that diversity back in to a more nutritious and climate-resistant crop. Scientists leading the research say adapting wheat production to climate change is key to future food security. The important aspect here is we need to grow more wheat in the future. The estimates are that by 2050, we need to produce up to 30 to 50 percent more wheat than what we produce today to meet global demands. Chinese scientists are also making a vital contribution to this international project. We have a much better view of the genetics and we also have a better understanding of what the people in the other parts of the world are using for improve uh, their varieties. Back at the John Innes Research Center, a giant gene bank. This library of seeds from around the globe, carefully sorted and cooled. These drawers holding 30,000 wheat samples. We enable this, this research because, you know, the essence of, of, of the study is understanding genomic diversity and we hold the diversity. So we uh, so in order to unlock the diversity, you, f you first need to define it, uh, to conserve it. And so the genetic diversity discovered in these seeds could one day become part of the wheat we grow and the bread we eat, creating a more sustainable crop. Kitty Logan, CDTN, Norwich.